Hi folks. Uh, so I just recently uh, got my hands on this. This is a master lock number 15. If you can't tell just uh, by comparing it to the size of my hand, here it is right next to a master lock number 3. This thing is about two and a half inches wide and it's pretty heavy. Uh, and it's really larger than the master lock number 3 in every way. Uh, not just the size of the body, the size of the shackle, but even the uh, plug, keyway, and number of pins are larger. It's actually a five pin lock with a slightly larger uh, keyway than uh, the standard number three is. So, but it's not uh, significantly wider, so we're going to use the uh, 40 millimeter or four. Sorry, 40 thousandths of an inch Peterson pry bar light and a standard Peterson hook. And we're going to see if we can get this thing open. So number one, number two, number three, binding very lightly. Number four, binds much more tightly. Number five gives us a couple clicks. There we go. Number two, big click. Number one. Maybe, yes, and there we go, the thing's open. Uh, now this does seem to be one of the more recent ones, uh, you can tell by the flat cuts for the latches, and if we let it go you can see the more or less flat uh, latching tabs. And this thing um, is going to be a lot more difficult to shim, not just because it does have the newer uh, supposedly shim resistant uh, latches, but also just because of the sheer size of this shackle, uh, commercially available uh, padlock shims don't even fit around this shackle correctly, so you kind of have to make your own, and this thing uh, has pretty strong springs on those latches. So you're uh, going to have a tough time making it out of a, you know, an empty beer can or something. Anyway, a little bit of fun. Costs about $27 according to Masterlock's website. If you're paying much more than that, you are definitely being ripped off because I don't know that this uh, would really, well actually, against someone with a pair of bolt cutters or a big hammer it might actually protect at least thirty forty dollars worth of uh, stuff but um, don't put anything really high risk in there so until next time folks have fun and happy picking